I, Virginia, take you, Connor. I, Connor, take you, Virginia. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. To always love and cherish. According to God's holy order. And thereto I give you my pledge. And thereto I give you my pledge. When we first started dating, you told me you had three goals. One, to always point me back to Christ and show me Christ in everything. Two, for me to be able to confidently say Connor is for me at the end of each day. And three, to be the man that Jesus has called you to be for me. Well, my love, I can confidently say that you've done all of this. There isn't enough time to say all that I want to, to you, my love. My vows will not be everything, but I will try and never stop vowing my love and loyalty for you all the days of my life. You are all around you, beautiful, my love. There is no flaw in you. You are kind, caring, strong, loyal, considerate, humble, talented, stunning, and brilliant. I'm so often not some of those things. You push me to be better. So I promise to always push you to your best. I promise to be imperfect, but always strive for perfection, for the Lord and for you. I'm captivated by you, Connor. The way you love is the most tangible depiction of Christ's love I've ever experienced. Your heart of service, your unshakable faith and determination, and your joy are all qualities I admire about you. You see the best in me. You encourage me continually to dream big and chase goals and be the best that I can be for God's glory. You love me and see me the way Jesus says. You are truly exceedingly and abundantly above all that I could ask or think. Jesus has blessed us immensely in each other, and it's by his grace and faithfulness that we stand here today. You are such a gift, Connor. This is your big day. Connor and Virginia, today in the presence of God, and before your family and friends gathered here, you have voluntarily chosen to pledge yourselves to each other for as long as you both shall live. The holiness and sobriety of the vows you make one to another cannot be overstated. As an ordained minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of the state of Virginia, I pronounce you husband and wife. Connor, you may kiss your bride. 
Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, please welcome Mr. and Mrs. Connor Gruller. My name's Erica, for those of you that don't know me, and I am Virginia's big sister. <laughs> I've known Virginia since she was born, so I've had the privilege of watching her grow and change over the years into the woman that she is today. Everyone that she knows has benefited from Virginia's unending encouragement, support, optimism, and love. I talked to Connor a few weeks ago and asked him what he thinks is Virginia's best quality. He said her loyalty. She's die hard, love you to the end. And I think he hit the nail on the head. Connor, you are gaining the most incredible partner in Virginia. Your relationship will be nurtured, supported, and strengthened by Virginia's love and devotion, both to you and to the Lord. All right, good evening. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, uh, my name is Brooks, uh, and I have the honor of being Connor's best man. I remember meeting Connor for the first time in the Yoder's kitchen. David and I were there kind of as spotters to feel the guy out a little. Little did I know that I'd be gaining a best friend, not just a brother. I went down my checklist, well, kind of like an overlay of recommended skills and abilities for the perfect guy for Virginia. Most may or may not have been tailored to my interests. <laughs> Tactic cool, check. Guns, he's pro, check. Video games, check. Does he drink beer? Check. Does he drink good beer? Usually check. And most importantly, would I want to drink a beer with him? Absolutely. Now, all the funny stuff aside, most importantly, the most important of all, does he believe Jesus? Not just believe in him, but does he believe him and his word? Check. Based on that last point, I know above all else, he is an honorable man. He's loyal, he's trustworthy, and he will love, lead, and defend Virginia with all his heart. Oh, yeah. 